Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, we're in a technical state of war with Russia right now. I got a number of stories to go over. I'm going to make this quick. There isn't much left as far as hopes for peace. I'm sad, it's sad to say, but, um, Mr. Obama has gotten us into a war with the Russians. They haven't started shooting yet. Ties between Russia and the U.S. deteriorated further on Monday after Obama administration proclaimed bilateral peace talks over Syria dead and Moscow suspended a 16-year-old treaty meant to reduce the risk of nuclear proliferation. Everyone's patience with Russia's run out, White House spokesman Josh Ernest said in Washington, blaming Vladimir Putin's government for undermining the fight against the Islamic State and for indiscriminate bombing that has killed civilians and targeted hospitals in Syria. Russia's Russians have been complicit in Syrian tragedy, Ernest said. There's nothing more the United States nothing more for the United States and Russia to talk about. In other words, we're basically pulling diplomatic relations with the Russians. The next step I don't know. The next step is we start shooting. The U.S. announced Monday that it was withdrawing personnel who had been dispatched to the Middle East in anticipation that Syrian ceasefire deal reached September 9 would go into effect, a move that would have paved the way toward greater cooperation between the U.S. and Russian militaries. It followed Putin's decision earlier in the day to withdraw from 2000 Accord, which both which committed both countries to limiting stockpiles of plutonium used as core material and some types of nuclear weapons. Holding plutonium as part of a force measure, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said, according to Ministry's website. Russian viewed 2003 as an important step toward nuclear disarmament, he said. Putin's decree withdrawing from the treaty accused the U.S. of unfriendly actions, posed a threat to strategic stability. It gets worse. According to Lisa Haven on YouTube and a bunch of others, we have 40 million Russians heading to the bunkers. For an October 4th through 7th drill, so Russia suspends U.S. plutonium deal. They're headed for the bunkers. 40 million people. I don't believe in coincidence. I don't know how you can believe in coincidence in this case anyway. I mean, they're, we're in a technical state of war with Russia, and... The Russians are headed towards bunkers. Ta! What do you think comes next, people? I'd call up my congressman if I thought it would do any good, but I don't know what to tell you. This is extremely grave. And. You, if you're a prepper, you better get ready. Make sure you're, uh, if you have an underground bunker, make sure it's ready to go, because you may need it. It's not good at all. I actually talked to a liberal on chat group. It's one liberal and thinks it's all a game. Think, thinks it's something funny. Well, there's nothing funny about this. 
If we don't, we're, we stop talking to the Russians, and if we don't find a way out of this, I mean, we're not negotiating anymore. So all it will take is one misstep, and then the shooting starts. And this will be a nuclear war. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I think you better, uh, I don't know, you're ready. If you're a religious person, if you're a religious person, say your prayers. I'm an agnostic. It doesn't look good. I don't know what could stop this. I'm on the facts of Mars.